going guys so I'm gonna do a quick video tutorial or whatever how to change the oil on the new 2018 to 2019 Kawasaki Ninja um, so first all got the oil filter the part number is 16097 dash 0008 it is a Kawasaki oil filter you're gonna need two and a half quarts of non-synthetic conventional Kawasaki oil this cost at the dealership $5.95 it's the cheapest even from online I found it cheaper to go to the dealership the filter was $12 09 at the dealership um, so the only tools you're gonna need is basically oil filter wrench cap thing adapter a I think that is 11 16 socket with a little extension to get the oil drain valve which is right here oil filters right here I always change my oil without jacking my bike up or whatever. I just get my oil pan, put it underneath, and that's basically it. So, let's see if I didn't put it too tight for the oil filter. too tight this time. Last time I had to use a pipe wrench because I put it on too tight. This time I made it snug. There we go. This will be my, believe, fourth oil change. I have 8,500 miles on this bike. Two days shy for being a year old. About time for oil change. Let's see if I can not make a mess with this one. pretty dark you know I forget what mileage I changed it on it's kind of dark it doesn't look too metallic so it's wearing in pretty good I always use a little bit of oil and flush the system out. So yeah, it's poured a little down the crank you can see it's clear so that's good you're supposed to put a new crush washer on this thing but 
I have it and it hasn't leaked. So make your drain plug snug, not over tight in. Um, get your new oil filter. here so I always it's already pre lubed and stuff but I always lube it up I fill up my oil filter before I install it to get it pre lubricated and so it doesn't have a dry start just enough to get the see it's uh, absorbing all of it just enough to get the filter media nice and moist and soak up so just reach down here get your tool you shouldn't be leaking oil so you can pull this off now just snug your oil filter don't over tighten it okay so that's that so you come around the other side and you got your fill valve or not valve but cap so use a a um, funnel to funnel in the oil I usually don't I just just go slow but it should take about two and a half quarts of oil so Here's a quarter quart that I had from last oil change. Here's another quart. Use the oil that your bike came with. If your bike came with conventional, use conventional. I'm making a mess um, but yeah the dealership said don't use synthetic so if they said it fine whatever I don't care I'll use conventional I'll go by their warranty I don't care So that's one quart. Here's the second quart. Okay, so that's two quarts and a quarter. My oil filter is already filled. So let me grab my keys, start it up.
forget to put your cap back on of the crankcase or the clutch case. if it's level see I'm half a quart not a half a quart but a quarter of a quart shy from the line so it should be a roughly around two and a half quarts of oil that you need for your your bike so I'm gonna just add a, a little more and then top off if needed but if you're a little shy from your the amount you need is not going to hurt your bike unless you're under the minimum Right now I'm in the middle of the minimum and maximum, so if I put just a little more in, I should be okay. Like that. Put the cap back on. And that's it, man. So this is pretty much a 10 minute oil change. Nothing to it, simple. Two tools, three quarts of oil, a oil filter, versus paying the dealership. I don't even know how much it is, but all this is only $36 and do it yourself. 10 minutes, you know, every 3,000 miles or whatever you do. So, anyways, if you, enjoyed the video quick video and stuff like share subscribe you know i'll catch you next time